going on y'all this is your boy crucial keys welcome back as you can see from this title we got some more jesus molina chords so uh now this video that i got these chords from <clears throat> is from a challenge that he made so what he did was he played uh, melody progression or whatever and the intro so so nice so beautiful so what he did was he'll play uh, phrases and then let you play so he'll start off playing and then he'll play it in his um, count and then he'll play he'll let you play all right and then he plays again and then he'll stop and let you play and then the same thing but at the end he at like 40 seconds because the video is not long so at 40 seconds he ends the uh, the uh, song so that's the part I'm gonna break down so if you go to 40 seconds the video is in the, in the description that I'm talking about uh, if you go to the last 40 seconds of the video that's the part I'm sorry go to 40 seconds in the video that's the part I'm breaking down all right crazy chords crazy progression craziness just just craziness but anyway the challenge was actually kind of nice uh, a lot of people did it um, but I just those chords those chords that he played for the ending like when he just you know capped off the the song i just i was so i was so intrigued by the chords so i had to learn them and i'm going to give them to you guys all right so check out the video and then come back and watch this one because i'm gonna break down the lat the uh starting at the 40 second marker of his video i'm gonna break that down right now y'all ready hope y'all guys doing good y'all ready here we go so this is what he did So that's what he did now I'm not gonna play it the same speed he did I mean he uh, his speed was his speed is ridiculous period so that's the whole progression that I'm about to learn to uh, teach you guys so y'all ready here we go let's break this down so we got is one of the toughest progressions I ever played in my life like seriously all right for the guys who can catch chords you know just catch them the experts out there all right we're gonna start right there that's the first block so again okay so one two three yeah bad with the bass here we go all right so that's for you guys who can catch to the next part that's just ridiculous right there ridiculous okay
So that's for you guys who can catch stuff really quick. That's for you. Now, beginners, we're going to break this way down. All right. First part, start with the first block. So that's your left hand, right hand. All right. So you got boom. Next part. Wrong chord, sorry. All right. So you got uh, ba ba. So you got left hand, right hand. That's the next chord. Left hand, right hand. Then the next chord. Left hand, right hand. Alright, so you got ba, 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 ba. Again, ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Y'all got that one more time? Next part. Now, we really got to be careful with this part because it's easy to play the wrong notes on this part. All right. Next part. So we got. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Next part. Okay. So again. All right break that down so you got that's the first that's the first part see how it starts off all simple you know just the regular C major chord just nice and easy all right but it's gonna get really complicated in a second so we got and your left hand is only playing one note right now okay so your right hand is playing C and E. So here we go. Next part. Now this chord starting to get a little bit, you know, a little complicated. Your left hand is only playing A. Your right hand is playing C, D, and G flat. Okay. So you got. Okay. Now, if you don't, if you're not used to playing chords like this and progressions like this, you're going to have to practice this slow, okay? Slow as possible, and then as you get more comfortable, build your speed up, because this is a doozy right here, all right? So, first chord, second chord, let's go to the next chord. That's the next chord, okay? So your left hand is playing B. Your right hand is playing C major chord again. So that's the next chord. Let's put it all together. Well, let's put what we have together. So you got. Okay. Here we go. Let's go to the next chord. So, so this is what we got so far. Let's go to the next chord. All right. So you got left hand A, right hand F, F major, which is uh, you just planned it C F A. Okay. So you got. So far, this is what we got. Oh, I'm sorry. That F is not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be a C. I'm a, it's supposed to be an E. I'm still rusty, y'all. Uh, yeah, so you got... Yeah, 
Yep. So it's supposed to be C E A. All right. Which is the A minor. All right. So left hand is A, right hand is A minor. Okay. So that's what we got so far. Let's put it together. Let's go to the next chord. Okay, so your left hand is playing G flat and B. This is where your left hand actually plays another note. And then your right hand playing C, E flat, A flat, B. All right. So let's do it slow, okay? Did I give y'all that D? Okay, so that third chord, throw that D in there too, okay? So we got uh, one, two, three, four, and then the last chord, okay? So you got that's how fast you gotta play it. So let's try to let's try to put it together with the first part. So you got bum 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 Okay. So now because you're playing you know the chord you know you chording with your uh right hand and left hand on this part now if you, if you have a bass player or you're on the organ um if you're on the organ oh excuse me if you're on the organ you can play the bass with your foot if you have a bass player you can tell them what the notes are so for this part uh, for that part, the bass notes are okay. You going A, B, C, D flat, D. Okay, that's all you're doing. So when you do. Okay, so listen, I'm going to play the last bass note to the last chord so you can see how it sounds. So that chord. But putting it all together is what makes it so great. Because when you do... Uh, And then when you get to the next part, you be like, oh, I don't know if he was about to go there. So we got the first part. Next part. So you go from D. Your bass note being D to being F sharp. All right, so that's your left hand, right hand. Okay, got that. Next chord, left hand, right hand. Got that. Next chord. It's your left hand, right hand, and then you just go half steps down. C 
the next chord. That's your right hand. Left hand, right hand. And then the next chord. It's just one note in your left hand, that G. Right hand, that's what your right hand is doing. So let's put that part together. So we got. Okay, next part. Left hand, right hand. All right, you got that? Next chord. Left hand, you got B in the bass. It's your right hand. Oh, by the way, this is in the key. I should have said that at the beginning. It's in the key of E minor, which is uh, the relative minor of G major. Okay. <clears throat> All right, you got that chord? Next chord. Okay, left hand, right hand. So let's put it all together so far, see what we got. So we got bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. That's what we got so far. We left off at bum. Let's do the next part. That's pretty simple. Left hand, D flat. It's your right hand. Go to the next chord. So you got left hand, C, G, E. Right hand, D, G, B. So you're gonna leave your left hand like that. This is what your right hand, you're gonna leave your left hand like this. Let's see what your right hand is gonna do. It's gonna move around just a little bit. That's what your right hand is doing. Your left hand doesn't move, so again, So again, one more time. Okay, then the next part. Left hand playing A, it's your right hand. And then you could do a run one. Same chord, just playing an octave higher. So that's the whole progression, okay? Gonna do it again, check it out. That's the whole thing, okay? That is going, I'm telling you right now, that is gonna take some time, all right? But you guys, 
hope you guys want advanced stuff. Uh, so this is that. So let's do it again. Let's try to do a little bit faster. Let's do that again. Oh, yeah, I see that. Now, that's that's nice. That's nice. So what I did was instead of going to the, the A in the bass, I went to the F sharp. So let's do it again. You can put that F sharp in there. That's like gives it that edge. It's something that I'm hearing. Nah, okay, I'll I'll try to figure it out later. But anyway, um, so we got toughest progressions I ever played in my life like seriously because the timing is not like a I think it's a seven timing seven count I think I gotta go back and listen uh but it's definitely not a regular four count four four it's a uh it's a it's a I think it's like a yeah it might be a seven or a six whatever but uh, it's definitely not a four four regular count like you do one two three four one two no so that already makes it more complex because it's not the standard beat or or a time signature that you're used to playing in and then the speed is like is already like whoa so you got the time signature the speed and then the chords that you have to play like like do you know how long that took me to learn this it's not about the chords it's about how fast you play the chords because you can play them fast but if you play them if you if they're if they're not accurate then it means nothing so you not only do you have to play them fast but you have to play them accurately with precision so I was like this. This is this was me. That was me when I first uh learned these chords. When I was first learning them. That was me. But I kept going, got the metronome, get the timing. See, even that's not still 100% clean. So that's better, but it could be better. Like, that is tough, man. So, that's probably the toughest part in the song, in the uh, progression. And then. So practice it to the best of your ability. Uh, start slow. Start slow. That's the best advice I can give you. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it's pretty advanced. So for you guys that are beginners, don't be discouraged. We all had to start somewhere. Even Jesus. 
you know, as great as he is at, you know, playing the piano and everything, he had to start somewhere too. Don't think he just came out the womb playing like that, okay? Nobody comes out the womb playing like that. You have to practice and learn. Genius Geniuses are literally, like, people think geniuses like just wake up one day oh, i'm a genius no don't work like that you it takes time it takes training practice like i can't even tell you like it takes a lot so don't be discouraged for the beginners out there we all had to start somewhere i remember like it was yesterday when my mom was she was like would you stop banging on that keyboard like i was literally like getting on everybody's nerves like i was just in there like like literally nobody was teaching me nobody was showing me stuff i had to learn everything on my own literally on my own so I'm telling you from experience. I'm not telling you what I think I know. I'm telling you what I know. If you practice, work hard, you will get to the point. You will get to the level you want to get to. Whatever that level is. If you want to be like, I want to be like a jazz, kind of like a, you know, like just a, a, a modern jazz musician that plays, you know, not not too much heavy stuff like like all that stuff but you know just laid back jazz if that's what you want to be smooth jazz okay get started but if you like i want to be one of those guys that play like jesus then you need to be practicing like that every day that's what you need to be doing every day okay so but you got to start somewhere so don't be discouraged uh, real quick, I'm going to say this and I'm going to get out of here because I know I'm probably boring you guys. Some of y'all probably left already. But um, I was watching Oscar Peterson. He was on the Dick Cavett show back in the 70s. Now, he was... Uh, Dick, Dick Cavett was asking him questions about the piano, like uh, how Errol Gardner plays... And Nat King Cole, he was giving demonstrations of how those guys play and their techniques. And he, somebody, it was another question he asked about a uh, double octave. Well, he was at, he asked the question the wrong way. It was a uh, double octave melody lines. So a double octave melody line is like just this. Like that's a double octave melody line. Two different octaves that are playing the same thing. Like that's what a double octave melody line is. So when Oscar was asked a question, he gave a demonstration of what that was and he just he did it he did what I did. He played a melody line with both hands. They were playing the same thing. And Dick Cavett was like, like, wow. He was like, so you're so both hands are doing the same thing. And and he was showing them, Oscar was showing them that they're doing the same thing. Like, like he was showing them that they were doing the same thing. And he was like, wow, that's amazing. And Dick was like, have you ever he said, uh, was that ever hard for you? The doing the double octave melody lines and Oscar blew me away with his answer. I know he's not gonna blow you guys away, but it blew, blew me away. He said, Yes. The question was was again, was that ever hard for you? Yes, he said. So he wasn't able to just play that. Like when he 
you know, started playing, he wasn't able to just... He wasn't able to just do all that. And that's what blew me away. I watched that video oh, like a hundred times. And that part blew me away because I'm like, this is Oscar Peterson we're talking about. If this man had to struggle with playing double octave melody lines, then what are we tripping for? Like, that should give us encouragement. Like, he wasn't just born with the ability to do that. He had to sit down and learn just like we are right now. Like, he didn't just wake up, oh, you know what? I think I know double octave melody lines now, so. Like, I, I just know it without practicing. So, saying all that to say, beginners, be encouraged. Because the greatest piano players struggled. The greatest piano, it's hard to see it, like to imagine them struggling playing the piano, but they did. And they didn't stop though. They just kept practicing, working, and then eventually they got to a point where they could you know play anything with precision it's almost like they were perfect playing the piano like the perfect musician so uh i'm sorry i'm ranting a little bit but i just want to encourage you guys just keep going don't stop i'm a, I'm, a, I'm a witness that if you keep going you don't stop even if nobody's helping you you can still get to the point where you say, wow, I can't believe I made it this far in my plan and nobody helped me. It's all God. So, and I'm a witness to that. All right. So, uh, be blessed. Stay safe. Make sure y'all wash your hands, sanitize, all that good stuff. And I will see y'all next week. Make sure you key in on the like button. Make sure you subscribe to join the Keys team, share the videos, check me out on Facebook, Crucial Keys, hit the little bell at the bottom so you get the notification of the videos. I love you guys. I'll see you next week. I'm out. Peace. I think the rust is coming off a little bit. <laughs>